I love outside washrooms. They're the best. It's the view. It's beautiful trees. There's a mango tree right there. And these beautiful trees, these flowers smell so sweet. So we got to Gilly Air yesterday and it's so beautiful here. I absolutely love it here. It's just like so chill, so relaxed. Everyone on the island is so like nice and smiling at you. And I just feel like the energy is a lot more slow and calm here than it is even on like the big island of Bali. So it's really, really beautiful. The water here is so blue. There's so much like alive coral. I swam with sea turtles yesterday. It was so magical. There is a big Muslim population here on the Gili Islands. So we dress a little bit more covered up, but you know, we can still wear like skirts or like sarongs that are like to the knees. And a top like this is fine if I am where I am, but if I'm walking out on the street, I would usually you know, just cover up a little bit more, wear a top. Um, so yeah, it's super beautiful. It's like, I really, really love it here. I feel like so welcomed here. There's actually an island that's about 24 to 35 hours away from where we are and it's called Komono Island. And that's where the Komono dragons live. And we were just looking up like, oh my gosh, the Komono Island and like, how just extraordinary Komodo dragons are and how ancient they are and also how kind of terrifying they are. <laughs> I was joking, I was like, I really wanna to go to that island, we should travel there, but now looking it up, I'm like, um, maybe not, maybe that's not the best idea, but it's so cool how there's like an island just full of Komodo dragons. And there's also a species of Komodo dragon, um, a similar species that grows about like I think two to three meters long that lives on this island or lives like in the Gili Islands but it's super rare to see one and you it's like the locals don't really say that they exist here because it's like pretty rare they are becoming extinct more so it's pretty rare to see any type of like big lizard but as for right now we're just relaxing today and enjoying the island enjoying the ocean and we're just gonna take it slow, which I really like. I have some studying to do, some work to do, and then we're gonna go for some yummy vegan food. Usually here in Indonesia, if you stay at a homestay, you get breakfast in the morning, so they will prepare you breakfast. And of course I'm vegan, so I have like fruit and granola and some fresh coconut milk. And um, they can also make like vegan banana pancakes and stuff like that, which is so, so, so sweet.
super relaxed so far. I've honestly rested most of the day. It's about 2 p.m. Just felt like my body and my energy needed to kind of recharge and rejuvenate. It's such a beautiful day here and even though it's so hot, it's also really breezy on this island and that's why it's so nice. And the waves aren't intense either so it's just like a lovely mixture of hot and also this nice ocean breeze. Everyone on this island is so sweet and so welcoming and I just feel really like safe here. Like I ride my bike at nighttime and no one tries to like creep on me or be weird. It's so nice. There's also no dogs on this island. There's only cats. So it's like the island of cats. <laughs> there's cats and there's also horses. Unfortunately, the horses aren't being treated the best here. Um, they're being used to pull carriages, which makes me really, really, really upset and sad and just really sending all the horses a lot of love here. It's interesting because there's usually dogs on islands, but here there's no dogs. Like, I have not seen one dog, so I don't know if they're not allowed here, but it's so funny. Every single day is like, so beautiful, but it's so nice. <laughs> it's so sunny. It's our last day here, our last full day on Gilly Air and the Gilly Islands, and we're about to go snorkeling and free diving for like the third day in a row. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Whenever we go snorkeling and free diving, I never bring my phone to the beach, so I never really am able to like take footage of like the beach or like what I'm doing because I've just been really off the grid here. It's been really really nice. Other than studying um, the course that I'm doing right now, I haven't really been like online that much. It's just been such a nice break. Yesterday, my partner actually ended up losing her card in an ATM machine, like her debit card. and. In Indonesia and I think also in Thailand if you don't take your card out right away the machine will suck your card in so if you're ever in Indonesia or Thailand remember that because <laughs> I lost my debit card and now she's lost her debit card and we both don't have one so <laughs> we're trying to kind of figure out right now how we can get it back and if we can get it back um, but it's okay we're gonna figure it out I feel like things like this kind of make the experience of traveling always more exciting <laughs> and more of a journey and a story to tell afterwards. So it's really funny. It also is inconvenient, but it's all gonna work out. I just had breakfast that they serve here. It was so delicious. Some like fresh fruit with granola and fresh coconut milk. And I'm gonna go diving now, so. Soon. Unfortunately, this is the reality of what actually is in the water that we swim in and the animals live in. I mean, there's not that much garbage here, but there still is lots. And I think when the current comes, it pulls more garbage to the surface, but 
I've definitely seen more garbage in other places. It's just um, a sad realization that I'd like to share. But the beauty of nature is so resilient, so strong. Nature really does bounce back and cleanse itself. And that is so, so beautiful. I ended up bringing my phone to the beach because we both needed our phones. <laughs> I realized I was like talking about this digital detox and then I had my phone, but today I do have my phone. And yeah, I did want to share the garbage that is on the beach. And yeah, it's just something to, for people to see that maybe don't come to beaches, right? Or don't have the opportunity to travel and see um, because you don't see them in, Google photos or on Pinterest, the actual reality of, you know, the garbage and the plastic and, um, yeah, like where it's actually going, right? So it's just interesting and just a reminder for us to live a more sustainable lifestyle and to be more conscious of what we do consume on a daily basis.